All right, I'm getting ready to make some uh, squirrel chili. Um, so I got quite a few bags here of some nice squirrel quarters. Since I shot them with a shotgun, a few of these quarters are broke or there may be a BB in there or whatever. So I'm actually gonna just debone them, cut them into usable pieces, and then I'll just cook these up in a pan with some onions and add my ingredients and turn it into chili. Um, chili's gonna be pretty basic. I'll have the meat, onions in a pan, uh, brown it, and then I'll put in some tomato sauce, stewed tomatoes, some chipotle peppers with the adobo sauce. Those are awesome right there. A few cans of some light red kidney beans and then some chili sauce rather than chili powder, chili sauce. So I'll just, uh, like I said, sear the meat, add the stuff and just let it brew. We'll see how it goes. Quarter's pretty basic. I mean, I'll just grab one out of there. Nice big squirrel quarter there. I'll just start right up here and kind of Cut right on down. If you cut right up by your thumb there, you eliminate that. You don't really need much there. I mean, it's gristle, tendon, whatever. But I try to get it right down to the bone. You can actually, if you want, you can save them bones. They still got a bit of meat on them. And you could put them and make a stock or make a um, whatever, you know, gravy or whatever you want using the bones. But like this, I get the majority of the meat off of there. Some of them are pretty big. I mean, these are some nice hefty legs, as big as a dang small chicken. And I don't mind that it gets hacked up. I mean, that's kind of the purpose of this right here, because it's going to be anyways. I'm not going to leave it in big old chunks in the chili, I'm going to have it more like a ground meat or, you know, shredded. But I just don't want there to be any BBs or bone in there. So, you know, there's the majority of it. I'll make a pile, I'll just cut it up. This here, I'll trim up more off of it. But then, like I said, this here, you throw them all in a bowl, you put them in a pan with a bunch of onion and celery and whatever you want in there and create a nice stock for a gravy or a soup or anything you want. This here, I'll just cut up a little more. Alright, now I got it all cleaned up. I got about a pound and a half of boneless meat. And I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil in a pan. A couple tablespoons, just enough for the bottom. Bring it up to heat. And I'll add the onions. I like to leave them pretty chunky as you can see. Stir them up a little bit. And when they just barely start to get a little bit translucent, that's when I'll add the meat. Now once that meat's fully brown, then uh, I'm gonna add some pepper, you know, nice pepper medley, you know, fresh ground. A little bit of red peppers, black pepper, and I'll also add quite a few shakes of cumin in there. Then what I'm gonna do is add just enough water to cover the meat. I'll turn the heat up, bring it up till it starts to boil, and then I'll turn it down just so it's simmering. Then I'll put a lid on that and I'll simmer it for about an hour or so until that meat gets really tender. Once the meat's tender I'm going to start adding the other flavors. I'll begin with the chipotle peppers. I like to use four or five of them. I'll remove a good percentage of the seeds out of the middle. It's pretty easy. You just put a little cut in them and you can scrape the seeds right out. And then I like to leave the peppers a little bit on the chunky side just so when you're eating it, you know, you get a piece of pepper now and then rather than chop it up real fine. Those, fla those, those peppers have some great flavor so it's nice to get a good bite of one once in a while. 
They're a little bit on the spicy side, but for most people, they're not too much. I'll add them peppers directly into the, the meat and the water that's left. Make sure I get just about everything off that plate other than the few seeds I set aside. I'll stir it around a little bit just to get those peppers all mixed in there. And then I'll uh, actually add a couple tablespoons of the adobo sauce out of the pepper can. Then I'll add the tomato sauce and the beans. And I'll add the stewed tomatoes. And I'll add quite a bit of chili sauce. You could use chili powder, whatever you want it. I mean, this is just the way I do it. It turns out pretty good. Don't have a whole lot of people complaining. Then I'll just mix it up and I'll let it simmer for a couple hours. Hey, look at that. Nice and thick. All the flavors all blended together. That is going to be awesome. One thing I like to do with chili, stew, any of that type of stuff, soup, is actually eat it like two days later. And that's what this has sat for a couple days. Reheated a couple times. Now it's thick. The flavors are all the way through. Man, oh man. Hi, right there. Make your tongue slap your brains out. That's some good stuff. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Brats and Mustard channel.